Hey, Mike with Mike's Bag. Today I am reviewing the Tusk by Razorbags. This is the second of the three Razorbags I mentioned I had to review. Uh, all three of them were carpet bags. All three of them are different carpet materials. The one I did before is the podium. So let's go ahead and dive into the Tusk and break this bag down. We'll start with the design. As I mentioned with the podium, Razor has a lot of different and unique designs. They actually do a pretty good job printing on the bags. I think the print quality is really well. So, and they they have a good variety. So if you don't like one design, there's probably something you will like. I do think all the designs are available in all the models. So there isn't really a specific Tusk design. Let's go check them out. Their website, buyprobags.com. You can look at the designs they have there. Material wise on this. So this Tusk is a carpet bag. Uh, it's a different, I, I have the podium here that I reviewed the other day. If you haven't seen the review of this, go take a look at this after this review. Go take a look at the podium um, video. Cause I have some of the stuff I covered here. I may not cover quite as much in depth, but anyway, the podium, as you can see, there are definitely two different carpet materials. Um, I, they, this, this to me looks and feels more like that clone carpet, that variant carpet, the, the materials, the slow side of the, um, the swag bag kaboom, the V3 coyote, the Southwest Hefe, um, the X-Level Lights Out, all of them have that 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 clone carpet, that variant carpet from the Viper R. And I, this looks and feels a little more like it. It's different. It is not the same. It is definitely different than that material. Uh, in fact, I don't know of any bag company that actually has this material on it. It's very unique. Um, but it plays it plays pretty similar to that material. It's it's a five speed. Um, it, it actually moves pretty good for a carpet. It it plays pretty true. Doesn't have the kick that traditional carpet has. It's fairly hole friendly for for being a carpet so all in all i mean i like the way it plays um it, it's it, it reminds me a lot of that variant carpet that that clone carpet you know it really plays and feels a lot like that so this is a five speed to me i think uh razor list is a six i'm gonna call it a five this material is starting to to fuzz up now these bags are sent to me used so i don't know how they play how they play new it's starting to fuzz up a little bit so i don't know you know like that viper or carpet the fuzzier it gets the slower it gets and you can kind of shave that down and speed it back if you want to i don't know if that's what's going to happen here if this is going to fuzz up more and slow down so you can actually get this a little slower it might i don't know uh only time will tell but right now it's playing about a five speed the fast side this is also a pretty unique material i I know of a couple bags, and I can't remember. Um, I, I had one the other day I was throwing, and I can't remember for life of me what the name of it was that had this material on the fast side. I know Galaxy Cornhole uses this material. It's a, it's got like a herringbone pattern in it, but it is not a carpet like that, like that slow side of the wizard or the sorcerer. It is actually a polyester material here, it, and it's, it's, it's an eight speed to me. It, play, it moves along pretty good on the boards. Um, Razor calls it a nine, but to me, it's, it's definitely slower. It's not, it's slower than the podium. Razor called the podium an eight. They call this a nine. This is definitely slower. I'm calling this an eight. So this is a five, eight bag to me. Um, again, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I can't think of the other bags that use this, but it, it's not a very popular material. These two materials are pretty unique. So it was interesting for me. I actually enjoy getting bags that have different materials because it, it's, it's something to look forward to, right? It, um, template wise, this is a larger template, I think. It's hard to tell. So I, this this podium was a massive bag, and I feel like the tusk. Let's see if I can line these up. It's really hard to see. I feel like the tusk is just a hair smaller. It's still a large template, not as large as the podium. It's still there, but it, it's just a hair smaller. Um, it's it's still a very full bag. It's a very full, very puffy bag. So it's not a lot of flop to it. All right? There's not a, there's not a lot of flop in this bag. Um, I don't know if I can show you that. Well, it's hard. To, it's hard to really see flop. It's not a lot of flop, but there's a ton of fill in here. So even though it's a large template bag, it's a very full bag. Uh, it does have that RZ3 that, that, that Razor calls. This is really nothing but that flat disc fill that you find in Lucky Bags, Buffalo Bags, a Cornhole Scenario uses it. A lot of companies are starting to use this flat disc fill. Um, it's That's what they call the RZ. So nothing special about the fill there. Um, and, and, and if you watch that podium review I did, I mentioned about how because the bag was so big and so puffy, it, I was having a hard time really getting it to release out flat. I, I I felt like this one released better. I don't know if that's because it is a touch smaller or if it's because I already threw the podium. I knew what to expect. I had made some adjustments throwing that, so I was able to dominate. I think the latter is more is closer to the truth. Is because I knew what I was getting into here. I knew the issues I had during the podium. I felt like I, I had kind of dialed in a little better, and I knew what I needed to do to throw this tusk. If you didn't watch the podium yet, what I was talking about is when I was when I was releasing the bag, because it's so full, as I go to throw and I go to let my thumb off before I can blast my fingers out, as I'm going to throw, the bag was starting to fall out of my hand because it just had so much weight, so much fill on the outs on the end here, that when I threw it, it would come out nose down. So in order to get the bag to flatten out, I had to do one or two things. I had to either get under it more 
and throw it up so as the bag as I'm releasing the bag would come out and it would come out flatter. But when it did that, I, I couldn't always get the right rotation. Like it just didn't spin as as much rotation as I wanted to. The other thing was to speed up my my throw as I got to that point, just come through quicker so that I could get the bag out before it had time to fall down. Um, and I've had more success speeding up my throw than I did trying to get under. I felt like I was a little bit better with that. But even doing that, I was very inconsistent with it. And I had some of the problems still with this. It still didn't come out exactly as I wanted, but I feel like I played it better. Um, and and let's, we'll jump into playability on this. This this is definitely a bag. For me, I had more success just running bags in the hole. Putting the bags in there, just sliding them in, putting four bags in, and just trying, trying to get my points. This material, you can slow down. You can play a blocker with it. I had a harder time trying to play the blocker because I was having to speed my throw up. I had a hard time taking some off the bag to get it to stop and block. I could throw some blockers up there, it, but when I did, I felt like I didn't have the consistency. I didn't have the control right to place the blocker where I wanted. So when I was trying to throw a blocker, I really wasn't sure where it was going to land. Now, when I did get a blocker up there, this bag makes a wonderful blocker because it's a very big bag. It takes a ton of space. But it's also very easy to collect because they're so full and large. You can put this blocker. I mean, you 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 know you can line it right in the middle of the hole and still have a ton of the back over your punt side, and then come down when you want to collect right down the middle and just take it and collect it. And that was very easy to do. Um, this material on this back is pretty 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 good at cutting. Um, I also feel like this bag is full enough that I think you can roll and flop this pretty well, pretty easily as well. I didn't try that, but I think that's also something very easy to do. So I think the shot shaping is there for this bag. Definitely the collectability of it. The one thing I will say, and I didn't experience it because I didn't throw a lot of, I didn't have a lot of blockers to try, but I do worry about this bag being so big and full that it's going to, it's going to bunch and clog the hole. You know, especially if you have a bag hanging on the side and you come in and hit it, there's a good chance they're going to bunch up if you don't clip it just right. And they're going to bunch and hang and clog the hole because they're so full and they're not very floppy. They tend, this bag is probably going to tend to clog more than just bunch up and fall in. So when you get a clog, not a bad thing. You know, sometimes you throw that clog and now if you're ahead in the round and you throw the clog, especially if you've got your, if you're, if you've got first bag, you throw your fourth bag, you can clog it. And now if your opponent's got a couple bags out or whatever, now they're, they're going to have a hard time getting their bag in just to get a wash. So you sometimes if you're ahead, a clog's not a bad thing for a defensive round, right? But I, I, I have a feeling I didn't have that happen to me. I have a feeling that that will happen. Um, but all in all, I, I didn't have a, I didn't dislike throwing this bag. It's not, it's not a bag to me. I would probably rather pull out the swag bag kaboom or the X level lights out round two or, or one of those bags, even a Southwest Hefe. It's something that with that has that variant in clone carpet more as opposed to this. Um, but I do see where this is a bag that I, I think it's a bag that's playable. And I think people will like this. Probably not a bag that I'm going to like very much, but I don't think it's a bad bag. I think there is potential here. I would just recommend, as I did with the podium, if you're looking to get a set before you buy them, try to find somebody who has a set that you can try and throw and see if you like it before you spend the money on them. And if you can't find the Tusk, go find a set of podiums. Um, the Knuckles and x are coming out, which is a little bit different, but still they have a similar similar template, similar fill. Make sure you like that before you invest into it. Now, as far as buying a set of bags, again, they have a website, buyprobags.com, link in the description. The bags seem to be pretty readily available. Um, when I looked on there, they had, I think, pretty much every model, if not every model, available. And, and they had quite a few different designs. The colorway is also available for you. So there's probably something there you're going to like. These bags, the, the, the Tusks were $79. I can't, I think that was the price of all the bags, but Tusks for sure for $79. For an ACL stamped bag, that's a pretty good price. It's on the lower end. Um, I think they're shipping on top of that, but still, that's very reasonable. Um, you're getting you're getting a decent bag for that price, so it, it, I, I, I can't knock them for the price, um, I, and I can't knock them for the availability. They're, they're doing great in there. I would just hesitate to, to recommend this bag. I think it's more of a bag designed for specific people, not a bag that everybody's going to like. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support.